Okay, he's dead. Kablooey. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. Uh, we are approaching the uh, Xenon Gate um, that leads into Family Zen. And I have my, my full fleet of fighters with me. And the goal for at least the first part of this episode is for us to... M P um, Start killing Xenon so that we can... So that we can get our rep up here with Family Zyarth. Um, so all of my dudes are on interception, so that's good. And yeah, so we're just going to kind of wait and at, at the gate here and ambush the enemy as they come through. And in the process of doing that, we should get some reputation with Family yeah. Zyarth. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and... I'll go after this in first here. Towards the gate. So currently, um, with Zyarth, we are minus 13. So we've already got uh, two points of rep with him, just you know, from the first few kills that we've done here. I, I, I if you guys watched the last episode. You may remember that I lost my second weapon grouping. I don't know how that happened, uh, but it's back now because I had to re I, I reassigned it. So for some for some reason, maybe I hit some kind of key combination that deleted Awaiting it. Orders. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that happened. But we're back in business now. So weapon grouping one is everything. Two is just the bolt casters. Three is just the plasmas. Um. So. Depending upon what comes through, if, it, if it's just ends, which mostly that's all it is, then I, I keep it on two, so it's just the bolt casters. But if, we go in, if we're going after a P, then I put it to one so that we can also use the plasma cannons. All right, so let's anyways just sit here and um, wait for the Xenon to come through. Looks like those guys are coming back, and we'll just start popping them. And uh, hopefully get our rep up high enough to where we can at least get a trader over here and, and start trading in Zyarth and really start getting our rep up. Striking. Um. Get wrecked. Um. I'm going to put my squadron into a, uh, let's put them into a circle formation. So that way they just completely wreck anything that comes right through that gate. Striking. Okay, we got a K here, so let's get right, oop, right up with it and uh, pause the game. Okay, so what we're going to do is 
Grab our group here. And we can't tell the group to do anything, uh, but we can. We have to select the fighters individually. All right, so we're going to tell these guys to attack turrets. And while they do that, we're going to just stay uh, right with the ship here and see if we can... Nail, nail its graviton turrets. Uh, we don't want to get too far out from it. Um, we might as well give it some hits too. think so this kind of along its back here is a pretty safe place to be um, yeah, we lost a fighter I'm still trying to figure out the layout of these destroyers to figure out how to get to its Hold on a sec. Let me make sure. What are you guys doing? Attack is in on destroyer. Shoot to disable, allow boost. It doesn't specifically say that they're attacking the turrets, but that's what I told them to do, so I have to assume that's what they're doing. Well, we have a couple of other fighters here, too. Okay, it looks like they may have just taken out some turrets there. Um, so let's get up here and... whatever this is here okay good so those turrets have been taken out we have another turret along there okay um let's tell our okay they're already on attack with the current enemy I think that must be on the other side of the ship. So everything on at the bottom of the ship has been destroyed. So we have a turret over here. Can I select those directly? Okay. Seems so. doesn't seem to let me select them directly. There we go. Okay. Let's attack this here. Okay, we got that out. Nice. We got like a little shield generator right there we'll take out. Okay. Let's select the next surface element. We're taking hits. Yeah, I know you are. Just hang in there, Dan. Hang in there. There we go. This is what we want to take out, the shields here. Get these big shields down and then this ship is dead.
why don't we tell these guys I think we pretty much have his turrets down um, so let's see remove all orders and now I want you to attack shield generators okay Fighters, a couple fighters here. Let's say these guys. Uh, remove orders, and that should put them back on interception to take care of these other fighters that are around. That's the theory, anyways. happen the hell man it's weird danger okay that one's down now let's go after this one Okay, this K is toast. Um, so let's go back to here. And we don't have any other fighters around. So remove all orders and just attack this guy. Normal attack, take him out. to get us some serious rep with Zyarth. Um, here, let's target this guy so my black turrets start attacking him. turret up there. Look at that. Alright, we got it. Okay, he's dead. Kablooey! Let's grab our orders. let's grab our fighters and put them back with us now. And we're gonna put them on intercept once again in alpha group. And we lost looks like we lost three fighters. And wow, this guy is just about toast. <laughs> he's got he's got his health is so low. He's got zero percent hull, but he's still alive. How does that even work? Wow. Okay. So that was pretty successful, all things considered. Um, here, let me pause the game again for a second. Where are we at now with rep with Zyarth? I, I don't think it's registered yet. They should, they'll probably, 
mess squad. message us here in a little bit and say thank you for your help and then the rep should update. I mean, we just kill a freaking K in their territory. Come on, man. Get it, man. What the hell? We're still minus 13 after killing a K and about five more smaller ships. Awaiting orders. Do I have to like kill them myself on my own ship? Something seems broken. I mean, I know sometimes it takes a little while for it to catch up, but I would have expected to hear from them by now. Get out of here. Gate down. Okay. Thanks for your help. Um, I'm I'm Watch like range. baffled. <laughs> I'm killing Xenon ships left and right. And okay, so wait a minute, we just got some rep there. Um Okay, so it just went down to eleven. Is is it like do I have to kill them in my own ship? Is that what's going on here? Maybe I Maybe I got the killing blow on the, on the last couple ships or something. I don't know. Let's just keep doing this for a bit and see what happens. That guy's out of here. thought though killing the K like we did awaiting orders okay we got well no that's the Talati company thank you there we go okay we got a thank you now we're to minus 10 it's like the K didn't count though it's just really weird is it because my fighters killed him and I didn't let me know in the comments guys so I know for future reference it shouldn't matter if it's my fleet it all should count <laughs> But I don't know. Maybe that's not the deal. That sucked because I figured we were going to get like massive rep for killing that K. We should have gotten massive rep for killing it. Let's bring in some more loot skis here.
Still haven't found the flux capacitor. I did find the uh, the second thing of Madoodle, like damage singularity engine or something. Um, I recorded a clip of that too. That was actually a long time ago, but I keep forgetting to put it in the video. So here's the footage for that for those of you who are interested. I'm gonna set my fighters on, I guess, follow. And I'm gonna kill the next ship that comes through and see if we get rep. Cause I'm starting to think that if they kill them, I, I don't get the rep. Cause this just doesn't make sense. We've I've killed so many Xenon, you guys, <laughs> including that act or that K. And it's like, what the hell, man? So let me, uh, I'll kill the next one that comes through and then see if we, if it makes a difference. It shouldn't matter. I mean, it's my fleet. I own them. I'm the one giving the commands. But. S. Okay, so let's kill this S. some help here. Okay, good. So we just got yeah. rep with Zyarth. Get out of the way, fighter, uh, so that we can dock with him. Get off me. <laughs> Hello? coming through, man.
Okay. Let's pause the game for just a second. That was intense. Whew. Um, so we are now at minus one. Good. So yeah, I think that's what it was, guys. I think, I think I have to kill the enemies in my ship to get the rep, and it and my fighters don't count because as soon as I started doing that, that's when it like really changed. So this is good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all of our damaged fighters, which is just about all of them. Um, go up to this equipment dock now and repair. So let's send half of them up there now. And then when those guys are done, then we'll send the other half up. Okay. Awaiting orders. Well, you know, if I would have known that in the first place, I, we would have gotten this done a lot faster. But live and learn. I'm smarter than I was before. That's the important thing. P. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so those guys are getting repaired. Uh, what I want to do now is I, I want to bring up one of my traders and have them start trading in this area. I'm probably making Family Jin the main area is what we want to do oh shit we lost we lost one of our traders oh that sucks i didn't even notice that trader three is dead that's too bad man i didn't even notice when that happened oh well it happens you know we're gonna we're gonna take some losses in this game that's just the way it works Correct. Okay, let's see how um, our other fighters are doing. Okay, they're all repaired um, and on their way back. Okay, so now we're going to take these fighters. Please hold. You will be scared. I think that, yeah, that one's good. Okay, have them come up here. Upgrade and repair. Firm order. Thank you. Good. Awaiting orders. Why are you shooting me? Because you got in the way of my guns, dummy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's see what our rep looks like. We're plus nine already. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We get plus ten and then we can get their mil access to the military um. stuff. 
Goodness gracious. Oh, that, that guy's long gone. Let's put everybody on follow and let me get a couple more kills in here. Trader one has an empty hall. Um, so what I want you to do is remove all orders. And I want you to come up here and trade. Uh, let's see. What we have to do actually is go to here. Change your sector to Family Jin. There we go. That'll really start getting some rep with them, with us. Okay, let's keep going here. We just got to get to to ten so we can get their access to their military stuff, and then we've accomplished our our goal for this episode. Thanks for your help. Oh, that got it. That did it. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go here and here. We should have a mission. Spear of the Patriarch. Set to... Or talk to Cho. We have to go all the way over there to do that. Okay, so do I have my full squadron with me now? Yep, I have everybody with me. They are all uh, fully repaired. Let's put them on defense. And we are going to go get our promotion with with Zyark. Let's do it. Entering system. Family Newt. Entering system. Open market. Well, this is interesting. This quest is actually leading us to another sector that we haven't even uh, discovered yet. Very cool. All right. Well, we'll see where it goes to. Get a little more exploration going here. Entering system. Zyoth's Dominion. Docking granted. Right, that wasn't super eloquent, but whatever. Look at that sun, man. Our first time docking at a split station. Nice little milestone. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Thank you. Nemesis. Vanguard. Go this way. Receive rank. Split have been watching your actions with interest. A suitable reward is deserved. We are pleased to present you with a new status within our family. You will find great benefits with this standing. The benefits are tied to rank. So should you turn against the family, you will lose these benefits. The Split have much faith in our judgment. You will stay loyal. You will find these rewards suitable to your feats. 
may they bring glory to you and your house. Smaller families under us may now approach you for aid. You have authorization to join them under the condition that your loyalty to us remains unwavering. Split again. Thank you for your efforts. Our future remains strong. Split wish you fortune. Right on, dude. Okay, so let's um let's get a patriarchy police license. Split wish you fortune. You too, man. You too. Okay, cool. So, uh, success. That was uh, our main goal for this episode is to get get in good with um, Zy uh, Zyarth, and we have done that. Uh, so that now means that um, their military ships up to Class M are available to us. Um, so let's go take a look at the ship dealership. Greetings. Greetings. Buy ships. Okay, so uh, for S class, we have uh, Mambas and Asps and Chimeras. Chimeras are supposed to be really good fighters. Let's do a courier. This is a heavy fighter. It looks like it's got. Five? Wow. Five turrets. That's a lot for a fighter. Um, what does a high preset cost? 16 million. Yowzers. This thing's going to pack a punch, though. Look at the speed on this thing. Oh, my goodness. 503 meters per second. That's faster than the... Uh than the nemesis but man if we had a fleet of these things accompanying accompanying the nemesis we would just wreck stuff okay well we'll have to Greetings. definitely have to keep that in mind um this is the asp it has three turrets which is pretty good and then there's also the mamba which has two Two turrets. And then if we look at M class, we have the dragon and the cobra. Uh one, yeah, that's the Corvette. I remember the dragon from earlier games. And it also has six turrets, just like our Oh actually no, that it has one more turret than our Nemesis does. So split ships are known for like m mega firepower, but they're generally a little bit weaker hull and shield wise. But we could put a Talati shield on it. Man, that is a lot of guns. Um, and the Cobra's their frigate. And it's got three. So it's got one more weapon than the Cerberus does. One more a forward weapon and still has four turrets as well. Cool. All right. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to consider these and, you know, look at them and stuff. A fleet of chimeras would be very expensive. Uh, you know what, though? Let's just do this. Let's go to high preset. Um, for engines... We'd want a combat engine. Mark three combat engine. Uh, Mark two thruster. I'd probably replace this with a Talati shield, but we'll just keep the split shield on there for now. Now these guys have different weapons. I'm going to have to read up on these weapons again and see what these do. Neutron Gatling. Tau Accelerator. Thermal Disintegrators. You guys were telling me about those in the comments. They're like a... That's like a beam weapon. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to read uh, read up on these weapons again and see. There's the Boson Lance, too, which is what it appears to come with by default. But if we went, like, with Neutron Gatlings for everything, just, just kind of pulling a number out of the hat right at the moment. Greetings. Um, we would not be... using these ourselves so we want to put the cheapest software on that we can uh, it comes with the flares give them a full crew okay so this loadout is only 3.6 million so that's quite a bit cheaper than what it was but again I I don't know if these are you know, I don't know much about these guns, so I'm gonna have to kind of read up on the guns and figure out what the deal is. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking I'd like to have a, a Chimera fleet, especially with the speed, man. Look at the speed on them; that is just crazy. <laughs> That's like not so. These guys would have no trouble whatsoever keeping up with a Nemesis. Uh, so yeah, I'll look into that. Let's go ahead and save this though. Uh, we'll just call this High Preset OG for now. And like I said, I'll look into the weapons and then uh, decide what might be good. You guys could make suggestions too uh, in the comments if you want to. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, uh, I think what we're going to do is wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.